When we are creating materials for the PBR workflow, it is important to first think about what components are metal and non-metal. The path that you choose to create your materials is contingent on the answer to this question. While this is not the case for all materials in our real world, such as metalloids, which are a mixture of metals and non-metals, most materials, or portion of materials, that we as artists will be creating can comfortably fit into either the metal or non-metal category. Before we can begin creating materials for these categories, we first need to understand the traits and differences of the categories themselves. Metals are good conductors of two types of energy, being heat and electricity. Conductors usually tend to show reflectivities at the higher end of the spectrum roughly anywhere from 60 to 100% reflectivity. Due to such high reflectivities, this prevents most light from being able to refract or penetrate the surface, eliminating most diffuse reflection from actually occurring. This is what gives metals the shiny look, as it is highly reflective and mostly specular reflection. Non-metals are often referred to as insulators or dielectrics and are poor conductors of electricity. They tend to scatter and absorb light, which means they end up reflecting a smaller amount of light than metals. This also means that dielectrics will have an albedo or base color as light is able to refract and diffuse reflection is able to occur. In contrast to metals, Dielectrics tend to have a significantly lower reflectivity amount, ranging around 2 to 5%, normally falling on 4% or lower. Based on what we just learned, we can see why it is important to make the distinction between metals and nonmetals when creating our materials.